so wild. In Marketplace Pets today, when you have a sick pet, you know you want to get the best possible care you can for that pet. Elisa Henry got the opportunity to take us to the OSU Veterinary Medical Center for a look at the specialized care providing for your ailing furry family member. At some point in every pet's life, they need special care, and they can get that care here at Ohio State Veterinary Medical Center. And I'm with Dr. Cheryl London. Good morning. Good morning. And you are a cancer specialist and the director of clinical trials, right? That's correct, yes. So tell me, what do you do as an oncologist here at the Veterinary Medical Center? So here at the VMC, we treat dogs, cats, sometimes horses and cows that have cancer with many of the same therapies that are used in people, like chemotherapy, surgical oncology, and radiation therapy. Well, I never think about pets getting cancer. Now, I know when we talk about human clinical trials, that involves people who volunteer to do tests and about new treatments or um, new right. medicines. How is that different than what they do for animal clinical trials, and why is that important? So uh, clinical trials in, in animals, and that includes dogs, cats, horses, et cetera, mm -hmm. are really no different than they are in people. We essentially enroll patients in clinical trials after their owner's consent. So mm -hmm. if we or I were in a clinical trial, we would sign a consent form. But in the case of animals, the owner signs a consent form. And they come to the hospital, they get their clinical trial treatments, and then they go home with the owners most of the time. So so it's really no different. We study new therapies for cancer, for arthritis, mm -hmm. for heart disease. We're under trying to understand the genetics of many of the diseases that we see and see if there's a comparison to the human side. Many of the clinical trials that we do not just benefit the pets that we're treating, but also benefit people because they're translational, meaning what we learn in our clinical trials helps influence the human side. What kinds of diseases do you treat in clinical trials? So because cancer is so common in dogs, actually one in four pets will develop cancer in a lifetime. Aww. We see a lot of cancer and we treat a lot of cancer in clinical trials, but we also treat a lot of other diseases, including arthritis, heart disease, we treat kidney disease and we have clinical trials for diabetes as well. Who do you work with? We work with a number of different entities. One of the major groups that we work with are pharmaceutical companies that have new drugs or devices they would like to test. We also work with the OSU Medical Center as well as Nationwide Children's Hospital. We have a number of collaborative efforts with them to try new therapies for many diseases. In fact, we have a large group project now on bone cancer, which is common in dogs and also common in children. And so we're working to evaluate a novel therapy that will then be translated into pe people, primarily children with this disease. And how is the clinical trials office supported at the VMC? We're supported by a number of groups. One of our primary supporters is the Comprehensive Cancer Center as well as the Center for Clinical and Translational Sciences. We also rely on donations from people who have been through clinical trials and are, are willing to support our office. And how can people learn more information? So if you are interested about clinical trials, you can go to the College of Veterinary Medicine website and click on the clinical trials link, and you can find lists of all the clinical trials that are currently available. We're also on Facebook and Twitter, and so you can find out information there. Great. Well, thank you so much for talking with us, Dr. London. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank, thank you. you. Back to you.